Today we're going to focus on demand for insurance, specifically a case where not as much math is involved. In fact, in this specific question, they tell us in the hint that we don't need to calculate any derivatives to find the answer to this question. Let's take a look. To start, we're going to parse through this information given to us to determine where we lie on this chart. Let's look at the type of insurance we have first, cheap, fair, or expensive. To start, we'll look at our probability of the loss. It says in the question that the probability of the bad state occurring is 10% or 0.1. We're going to compare this 0.1 to our gamma, or the premium of insurance per dollar. In this case, that's 10 cents, or again, 0.1. Since our premium is equal to our probability of the bad state occurring, we can say that we have fair insurance, which means we will lie on the middle column. As for our risk preferences, we can take a look at our expected utility function here. Expected utility tells us the probability of the bad state occurring times our utility in the bad state, plus our probability of the good state occurring times our utility in the good state. Seeing as both this CB squared function and the CG squared function are representing our utility, we can say with certainty that our utility function then on its own is utility is equal to consumption squared. Then we're just breaking this down into the bad state and the good state. If our utility is equal to consumption squared, this would be risk loving preferences meaning we will lie on the bottom row. If we're on the middle column and the bottom row, we know with certainty that we will demand no insurance. We are a risk-loving individual who faces fair insurance. And therefore, it's not a good deal for us to purchase any insurance. Our answer then would be option A, $0 of insurance are purchased.